The butterfly effect uh, is actually something to do with mathematics. It's a part of, believe it or not, chaos theory. And what it, what it tells us is that small causes can have large effects. And the butterfly effect was first propounded back in the 1960s. And the story is actually pretty interesting. When computers were first introduced to attempt to predict weather changes based on initial data conditions, one of the programmers who was testing out um, a, 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 a model forgot to add a 0 .0001 value to one of the initial inputs about whether it was a barometer pressure or something. He made a mistake at the fifth digit level. And he allowed the computer to churn out predictions for the next few weeks. Then when he realized his error, he went back and he put in the right numbers and he did the same calculations. And he was shocked to see the difference at a fifth degree decimal was so markedly different that he said this couldn't be possible. There must be something wrong. So he went back and he did both of the experiments and he realized that no, there is nothing wrong. In fact, if you begin with a change of literally 0 0.0001, then the impact over the next few weeks will be so different that you're gonna come to two totally radically different scenarios. And it was then called the butterfly effect to be a little bit more melodramatic because they, they, they tried to say that if the tip of the wing of a butterfly in Peru, for example, moved, eventually over the course of the next few months, it might potentially cause a tidal wave in Malaysia. If a moth flew in a certain direction, eventually a tornado would happen in Texas. Now, they're being a little bit exaggerated here because it's not that the butterfly's wing caused the tsunami, but put together with a million other factors, if the the butterfly had turned left rather than right, in all likelihood the tsunami might not have happened. The point is, it's one of a lot of factors that sets into motion events that will eventually culminate very differently if those initial motions were not set into event. Why am I beginning an Islamic lecture with something of chaos theory and mathematics? Well, because we as Muslims, we actually have no problems affirming this concept as long as we add the caveat that with the permission of Allah, these changes can occur. And the notion of the butterfly effect, the concept of it, is actually something that gives us hope in this very chaotic world. It gives us meaning, it empowers us, and it makes us feel that, you know what? I can, insha'Allah ta'ala, cause a change whose impact is going to be far greater than even what I myself can see. The smallest good deed, the smallest change that I have in myself can bring about the most amazing and profound effects. Maybe even in world history, maybe even the course of history might change. And you know, if you study the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you study the biographies of the earlier prophets, if you study the stories of the Sahaba, you come across these mini butterfly effects throughout the entire series. And what that does is that it makes you feel, you know what, maybe insha'Allah ta'ala, I'd better stop worrying about the consequences and start worrying about what I'm doing. Let Allah decide where my actions are going to go. Let Allah see the fruits of those actions. My job is to cause these mini butterfly effects everywhere that I go.